Somebody give the Lord a great shout. Come on, let me the hat work. Give him a great shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth. Give him your loudest shout. Give him your loudest scream. Hallelujah. We're so blessed. We're so privileged this day, this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you've done. And we bless you for the miracle signs and wonders. And we'll follow every word preached. In the name of our Lord Jesus. So it is. And it is so. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Lean over on somebody and tell them Merry Christmas. May this be your best Christmas thus far. Lean over them and tell them, tell them, tell them. May it be your best Christmas thus far. Hallelujah. See, 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 if you don't look at it correctly, see, in a split second, things can change. Y'all don't hear me. So you're not looking from the outside. I will declare that this shall be my best Christmas thus far if I don't see nothing on the outside. I'm going to declare it. I'm going to believe it. And so shall it be done. And uh, yeah, 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 y'all, 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 Speak things that be not as though they already were. Roman 4, 17, speak those things that be not as though they already were. Proverbs 18, 21, the power of life and death is in your mouth, is in your tongue. Look at your neighbor, tell them you're going to have to learn to open up your mouth. Even in the midst of a dead situation, even in the midst of a famine time, you got to learn to open up your mouth and decree some things. You were created in the image and likeness of God. You have the attributes of God inside of you. As he is, so are you in this world. I'm going to open my mouth. I don't care what everybody else is saying. My life is not based on what they say. My life is based on what God says. And greater is he on the inside of me than everything on the outside of me. I'm not worried. I'm not dismayed. I'm not fearful. I'm not concerned. I'm not stressed nor depressed because the greater one that created
He did the suffering for us so that we can be free. He who was rich became poor that you
greater work shall you do. Why? Because I've gone to the Father. Holy Spirit has been sent back to live in you and be your helper forever. He said he went to his own. In John chapter 1 verse 12, I went to my own and they wouldn't receive me. They only saw me as the carpenter's son. They talked about my sisters and brothers. They talked about where we come from. We're the carpenter's son. So I left there and I went to find somebody. And those who would believe me, to them, I don't care if you're in the covenant, out the covenant, to them, I gave power to become the sons of God. I would not sit here and live in a bondage that God has freed me from. He did it for me. I received him. And everything that he had, he has given it to me. So I have everything the Father had. I'm an heir of God. I'm a joint heir with Christ. So I'm going to receive from him because I ain't his child yeah Lord we have become the sons of God y'all don't hear me and the whole world waited for the manifestation of the sons of God is that you they're waiting on you they're waiting on you come back with evidence they'll desire your God the one that did it for you is the same one that'll do it for me. If you got up, I'll get up also. Somebody shouted here. Joshua chapter one. Verse 5. I'm going to show you a little bit of this. And then we're going to get on out of the word. All right. Let me skip over here. 1 Timothy chapter 4. Verse 15. In the NIV translation. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them. He didn't say H-O-L-Y. He said W-H-O-L-L-Y. So give yourself wholly to what God said so that everyone may see your progress. So that everyone will see your progress. People should see you coming up. They once saw you in a dead state, but now they see you in a life state. They saw you in a poor state, but now see you in a rich state. Seeing you in a sad state. But now see it in a happy state. Hallelujah. If you gave yourself wholly to the promises of God, didn't lean to the left, didn't lean to the right, don't care what nobody else said. Going back to Joshua chapter 1, there shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life as I was with Moses. As I was with Abraham, as I was with Isaac, as I was with Jacob, as I was with those that gone before you, so will I be with you. I will not fail you, nor will I forsake you. God never fails you. God never forsakes you. You are his own. He walks with me, and he talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. Somebody tell him thank you. Jump down to verse 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant, which Tony Winfrey my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or the left that thou mayest prosper. Well, and so ever thou goest, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth every day, all day. Let me say it like this. Every day, all day. Why can I say it like that? 
Yeah. Air, air, air day. All day. You're speaking what God said about your life. Don't let it depart out of your mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. You won't lean on the enemy. You'll be leaning on the Lord. I'm observing what he said. I'm meditating what he said. You gave me bad news, but God gave me good news. I'm the head and never the tail. I'm above only and never beneath. Am I boring, y'all? According to all that is written therein. For then, somebody shout for then. For then, thou shalt make thy way prosperous. You won't be begging God for nothing. I know who I am. And I know whose I am. And when I stick to what he said, I'll make my way prosperous. And at the end he said, you will have good success. Good success. Good success. I wish I had somebody here. Echo what I'm saying. Huh? Good success. Good success. I receive it right now. In the midst of an empty pocketbook. I receive good success. I am prosperous. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am at peace. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am money. I am wisdom. And I, 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 and I, 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 I am favor. Favor surrounds me as a shield.
You are healed. I dare you to say it. Thank you. All is well in my home. 
All is well in my marriage. All is well with my children, my grandchildren, my great grand, and as many as the Lord took all, all the way down. I'm breaking curses. I'm breaking curses. Curses of high blood pressure. I'm breaking curses of high blood pressure. Heart disease. I'm breaking curses. You shall live. You shall. You shall live. 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 Somebody shot it. Somebody shot it. On the internet. You shall. On the internet. You shall. That's your healing. That's your deliverance. You've been made old. You've been made old.
We're approaching 24. We setting ourselves up right now. We're not waiting for 24. I don't need no revolutions. Whatever they call it. I'm setting myself up right now by receiving this prophetic word, this prophetic impartation. Set me up. I'm going to keep my mind focused. I'm going to meditate on it. And in Timothy where he said that everyone will see your progress. They're going to see it before 24 get here. They're going to see it before New Year's Eve. They're going to see progress taking place in your life. Everyone that received it. Jesus went to his own. Remember that. They wouldn't receive him. But there's somebody in here that he has come to that have received it. And baby, it's yours. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. Don't let them tell you anything different. They walk up to you. You tell them whatever they say in opposite. Say that's for you. But as for me and my house, we are a blessed house. We are a prosperous house. We'll never be broke another day in our life. As for me and my house, we have a healed house. We have a delivered house. You tell them, you tell them there's nothing but success in my house. There's riches and wealth in my house. All up in my house. Oh, keep your eyes on me, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. Keep your eyes on me. I'm progressing in every step that I make. Every move that I take. I'm prosperous. I want to take that. Even in that old crazy stinking thinking mind. When he try to talk to you. You talk back. Don't let him tell you you ain't going to make it. You listen here carnal nature. I've already made it. You can't stop me. Ain't no stopping me now. I'm on the move. Y'all need to look him in the face. Y'all ain't no stopping you now. You on the move. I'm going to be got to seven and say, ain't no stopping me now. I'm on the move. Unhindered and untainted by any outside force. like this. The enemy gonna try. I'm telling you, honey, there's a reason he said meditate on it. And lock yourself into it. Because the enemy is coming. Anytime God gives a word, he comes out to try to make him alive. Don't allow him to get you distracted. Somebody told me the other day, they said they went back and they played the tape. Yes, sir. Turned it up. Turn it right up. Turned it up. Oh, yeah. Every demon in the house yes, sir. got out of the house. He opened up the door. Y'all yes, go ahead on out. Just playing the tape. Yes, sir. Stuff that a lot of people won't do. Yes, sir. They go leave out of here yes, sir. and then turn on some elementary stuff. 
you're beyond the elementary. Yes, if you already received Jesus, yes, if you already born again, get away from the elementary. Yes, let's grow up. Yes, Look at the neighbor say, let's grow up. Yes, this is a word of faith, church. Yes, and in a word of faith, church, yes, you got to grow up. Yes, Y'all lazy. Four and one. Somebody pull that up in the King Jack. I don't want to quote it. I want you to read it. The rest of y'all write it down. Because if you don't do this, four and one. Y'all listen to this. Yes, yes. Yes. Now I see. New living. New living. Yes, I'm going to be Shut up a high. Shut up a high. But when the right time comes. Four and one. Four and one. Four and one. Galatia. Think of it this way. If a father dies. If a father dies. And leaves an inheritance. And leaves. An inheritance for his young child. For children, his children, that's you. Those children, those children, are not much better off than what? Than slaves. Come on. Until they grow up. Y'all see this? Yeah. Even though. Even though. They actually. You actually own everything. Own everything. They father had. The father had. He didn't say have. H a v e. He said h a d. He gave it all to you. But if you don't grow and mature into this, stay around them folk that want to keep you miserable, then you're going to remain a slave even though you actually own everything that the Father had. Peter picks it up. And he talked about like-minded faith. Yeah, I know. Come on. You need like minded people. That's on the move. Yeah. That's growing. Yeah. That's going somewhere. Yeah. He called us like minded. Yeah. Precious faith. Yeah. We are, if you further down in the scripture, he says we are partakers yeah. of his divine nature. Yeah. I'm going to get all of this and let you keep me in religion. I was born and raised in it. I know what it's about. I learned this at this church. I walked in when God gave me the revelation. Showed me the vision. And I come, stood up, told the whole church that from this point forward, we're no longer religious. We are a word of faith church. Yes. You will learn who you are yes. and who you are. Yes. And you're going to get up and walk like yes, it, yes, talk yes, like yes, it, yes, live like yes, it, yes, love like yes, it. Yes, yes. I said, if you want religion, there's plenty of it out there. But give him people that want to get up, yes. that want to grow up. Yes. Stop walking around in the tour. Walking around as a slave. Your slave days are over. You're not in Egypt no more. It's time to grow up. And the Bible says, I think it's Psalm 92. He said, even in your old age, you'll still be bringing forth fruit. You ain't old in God. Listen, I'm, I'm 90. Even in old age. Yeah. Sarah and Abraham. Watch yourself, Sarah. Draw oh, for <laughs> Whose report? Are you going to believe? You can't keep turning on their report. And meditate on what they say. Now you got to meditate on what God said. God created this whole universe. The devil didn't create it. 
But as long as you let him have it, he will take it. Even though he came and got it all back for us. And put the devil under your feet. If you don't keep it where he belongs, he'll stand up and run your life. And God said, I gave Luke 10, 19, I gave you power to tread among scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy. And watch this, can't touch this. Nothing shall by any means, 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 can't touch this. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Can't touch this. I'm wrong with God. Stop thinking that somebody can stop you. They only stop you if you let them. They'll hold you back if you allow them. I don't need friends like that. I ain't desperate for no friends. God will put you in the right relationships. He'll hook you up with meaningful connections. Hallelujah. I don't need I've done misery. And I didn't like it. I'm in freedom and I'm loving it. Misery love company. And needed people need people. And that's why we be stuck on people that ain't going nowhere. They ain't doing nothing. Just sit around and depend on the government. And just sit them in the house and do nothing. Get your dream up. Dream big. Where the government had to come to you. The mayor had to come to you. Would you help the city? The city and the devil said, we need you. Y'all don't hear me. He created you in his image. You're supposed to dream and dream big. And hold fast to the dream. Don't waver from it. If they don't like it, hey, I see you. I'll call you, don't call me. I'll call you. If I don't call you, that's okay. Just keep waiting. You make up in your mind. This is it. I, I, I can't just stay there. This is my awakening. And I made up my mind. Listen, here. every step got to count from this day forward. And everything trying to hold me down. I just got to keep walking. I got to walk out. I love you, but I can't stay there. I love you. God knows I do, but I can't stay there. Can't hang around them conversations. Guard your eye gate. Guard your ear gate. Guard your mouth gate. Hallelujah. I see people sit up in church years and years and years. Never go nowhere. Because who you spend the most time with is who you become. If I meditate God day and night, I can't help but become like God. He said we're conforming to the image of his son. That's going to require day and night meditation. That's going to require you to get in tongues. That's going to require you to declare this word as God is saying. I don't care how your flesh feels. You tell your mind what to think. You tell your flesh how to feel. Y'all love me? Don't get upset with me. But somewhere down the road, you're going to wish you took it on. People will hang on to you as long as they can pull from you. That's right, Bishop. Say that again. But when you stop the hand out, they go. That show you who your real friends are. When money run out, people run out. Spouse run out. Ain't no money. I'm gone. I can find me somebody else. I love what Robert Kiyosaki said. He said, when a man was handed a dollar, he became a slave. Because he shut off his dependence from God That's right. and started looking at the dollar. That's right. People can pull a scam. They can pull what they call that catfish. All kind of stuff on you and make you fall into it. Because you don't know and you're not hearing what God is saying to you. You don't need none of that. You can't give me what my father hasn't already given me. 
And the more I grow in this, the more it shows up. Yes. 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 You don't chase money. Money chases you. It will bless it will overtake you and run you down. God needs you to grow in him. Somebody ain't liking this type of teaching. The more you grow roots down into him, the more you see manifestation. Whatever you desire, before you can even get it out your mouth, I've already done it. You're not worried about nothing. Let patience have her perfect work. That you be perfect entire, lacking nothing. But we want microwave. <laughs> you don't want to utilize that oven. You ain't used it so long since last Christmas. Or Thanksgiving. Everything else microwave. We want it quick. Right now. In a split second. If you don't grow up, though you own all of it, you'll be a slave. And the enemy will come take all of it from you. Because he knows you don't know. I've seen people OD when they got a bunch of money. They OD. Because they couldn't have their mind when prepared for it. Went out and had parties. Took too much. Somebody slipped them something. I'm talking about millionaires, multi millionaires. Your mind ain't, can't handle it. You don't know what to do. That's why you got to be there before you get there. You got to know where you're going. And not allow anybody to distract you from your journey. I'm on the road where I'm going. I see the destination ahead. God spoke the end from the beginning. And I declare the end from the beginning. And stay on the road. Unhindered and untamed. I don't care what my body feel like. What my mind. I don't care how far it try to get. You just well wake on up. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's more for us. Than sitting around depending on everybody else. You need to experience God for yourself. I keep sitting around waiting on somebody to wear the prayer warrants. Wear the, wear the this, wear the pastor, wear the first lady, wear the wear the this. You need to experience God for yourself. That's why in this church I don't have that. I'll make you think. Because I know you know. The Bible says school's out. You know your way around faith. But see, as long as you got a, that shoulder there as a crutch on mama breast, you'll never get up. I'll make you think. Because I know you know. If you've been here any period of time, I know you know. But you're trying to, you're trying to make me out of one of them other pastors that you just lean on. No, we ain't doing that here. <laughs> You ain't going to never go anywhere if you don't get this for yourself. Amen. Now, I got you back. Trust me on that. Yes, sir. Like the police got back up. Yes, but the police also got weapons. Yes, and if it's too big for him, he called for backup. Yes, but first, I'm going to do my part. Because yes, I have one. Okay. Now, if y'all new to this, I know I've got a lot of guests in here today. Just come on, hang around a little bit. You get used to me. Uh, I'm a little strange, a little, a little off in the head because I'm a little ghost. And I don't talk like a lot of mothers. But I think that the whole church at large should be interested and mindful of the people. And in famine, tragic times, they need to be voicing out what God's Amen. saying and get people up. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
but I know everybody can. That's why I'm grateful that I'm not a hireling. And I'm not under nobody's organization. They can't call me in office. Tell me they're going to fire me. No, you'll walk out crying. Hallelujah. Because we got to be able to say what God is telling us to say. To get his children up. That's our responsibility. Our responsibility is to get you up. And if that's not happening, then I, I'm not doing my job. Now, if you choose to stay down, then it's on you. But I will tell you, you can get up. Do you want to get up? If you want to get up, you can get up. You're in the right place to get up. I don't believe in all to call every week the same folk coming down to the altar. You know what I'm If I take this word today, I've been delivered. I've been made clean through the word that has been spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, I get everything right here. You got to understand God's way. Detox the religion. Hallelujah. And get into God for real, for real. Let's receive all. Y'all been blessed today. Amen. Y'all been bored today? No. Heal every distress. Every family. You walk in here, you walk in here on a mission. I don't want no distractions. And if you're going to be sitting there talking over time, I got to change my seat. Because I come to hear from God today. Hallelujah. I ain't thinking about my man, I ain't thinking about my woman. Because what takes place in here is going to heal all that. Hallelujah. Everyone that will this Christmas Eve. So a $50 seat. 